Man, Funko knows how to get in our pockets. Let's go. All right, what's up, folks? We've got the Marvel Studios Infinity Saga Amazon exclusive Avengers set. Now, these are being sold individually, at least most of them are. I've seen them on Entertainment Earth. I think I saw them at Big Bad Toy Store, but I believe Amazon is the only one that has the entire set, and you do get a decent little bit of savings if you don't buy them individually. Because there's one, two, three, four, five, six pops in there, and I think the set was, what, 70 bucks? So that's not bad, especially with the Hulk being a bigger pop, so he wouldn't have cost the regular price. Anyway, I love the box that it comes in. I love the window. I wish I could justify getting two to keep one in the box, but we're not rolling like that. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the rest of the box. Nothing happening on the bottom. Don't need the barcode because it's Amazon exclusive. Back of the box. Top of the pop. Side of the box gives you a clear shot down the line. Same from the other side. It includes a purple and black swirly background, so don't throw it away. Yo, I take back what I said about leaving it in the box. I did not realize that it comes on a stand for all of them, and it has the Infinity Stones at their feet. That is sick. All right, so first things first. They do come off the peg, so be careful. I didn't think they came off, but when I was picking them up, Thor fell off and almost broke his head on the floor. I was able to catch him. But yo, this is nice. All right, before we do the individual close-ups, let me just pick this up here. Hawkeye's my favorite so far, I like that orange. You see they have each of the Infinity Stones right at their feet. Oh, I'm gonna have to find a place to put this. This looks so good. worth every penny. All right, man, look at that group together. They are dope. So when I open up, I thought those white stars were on the plastic that are around them, but it's actually on them. And they're filled with glitter. They look like jelly beans. So Thor, it's hard to make out the details because it's all one color and it's translucent, but they actually are pretty detailed. If you look at Stormbreaker, you can see the blade and the lines in the blade. You can see Groot's hand wrapped around here and all the details that you would expect to be there if it was regularly, if it was painted regularly. Except he's got stars in his hair. He's got glitter on his booty, but he's dope. Of course, he's a bobbler. He's a bobbler. wobbly bigger frame he has fewer stars it seems like he only got one on his back but he's got a lot of glitter I wonder if Funko's ever gonna make action figure pops because it would be nice if their legs and arms can move that'd be so sweet and again details hard to make out because of the translucence but they're there but really good looking now his head the green seems to be a little bit lighter than his body Maybe because the head is hollow and the body is not, so it's a little bit thicker. It's just the light shining through. Nothing to get upset about. This is my numero uno right here. He looks like a Flintstone push-up pop, if you're old enough to remember that. He looks dope. That orange is sweet. Head looks good, but it looks even better on the body. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's a little bit glossier than the others, maybe because it's a light color. And the translucent effect just comes through real nice. You can even see he's got his mohawk here. They shipped him with his head turned, but I'm sure you can turn that straight if you want. I'm gonna leave it how it is, because I like him looking off the side, because you know, the quiver there looks really good. Moment of silence for the Black Widow. Alright, so her color, I guess it's supposed to be red, but it looks, I don't want to say pink, it looks kind of tangerine-ish. I don't think they made it dark enough. 
She's got a lot more stars on her face than the others, stars on her hair. She's got her signature ponytail in the back. I was afraid she wasn't gonna really be able to stand with that split stance, but somehow they got her stand up. A lot of pops, they have the feet straight up and they can't even stand, so that's a pretty impressive feat of engineering there. And she's got her, uh, I forgot what they're called, her batons, but they're, but they're translucent as well. They look good. You can see the lines in her costume pretty clearly. She's the only one that doesn't have stars in her booty. She does look good though. Now her bobble is a little bit tighter than everybody else's. Ooh, I didn't do Hawkeye's bobble. Easily corrected! He's bobble crazy. I'm Batman. I mean, Iron Man. IMO, this is a miss. This yellow, it's like a banana pudding yellow. I think it should have been a little bit deeper. Not quite gold, but not this canary banana yellow. It's not ugly, but it just doesn't say superhero, doesn't say Infinity Stone. Anyway, glitter in the face, a few stars. Again, lines are cut in, details. You can see it if you look hard enough. Glitter in the butt. See, Black Widow's the only one that didn't have glitter in the boots. It's really strange. Glitter on the boots. Honestly, Bobble. He's got good Bobble. Now, you can see where his spring is attached in his head. I didn't notice that anybody else, but maybe it's because he doesn't have hair. I'll check Captain America and see if Captain America has the same thing. He does indeed. Steve Rogers. America's ass. I like it. I like his stance. I don't know if these are all are reuse bodies. I'm just now opening a lot of my pops. I have a lot of pops, but they're in boxes. So sometimes a body's been used, but I don't know because I haven't opened it yet. This cult looks familiar, so let me know in the comments. And the Hawkeye looks familiar. I think they've used them before. So these might all be reuse in the molds. They just did them with all the glitter. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. Let me know if I'm right. If you're really feeling froggy, if I am wrong, tell me where these molds were used before. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, so I like this little pose here. He's got his arm coming up to the side like he's about to do something. Captain America's about to give somebody the business. Look at that. Ham sandwich coming straight from New York. Split stance. He's got a good base for battle. How's that bobble? Kind of tight. Yeah, he's tight. Oh, more bounce up and down. It's kind of cool. I like that. But yeah, I'm digging him. There it is, folks, the Amazon exclusive Infinity Saga Avengers pop set. I think this thing is incredible. It is worth every penny. I'm going to put a link in the description in case you're interested in it. Like I said, don't buy them individually. It costs more. If you can get it from Amazon, get it from Amazon. I need to check the other stores because I didn't. now that I think about it, they might have some exclusives on the other sites. I don't know. I saw Thanos the other day on Entertainment Earth. I'm gonna double check, see if he's different from... Oh, wait a minute, Thanos isn't in this set. I'm an idiot, I didn't order it. All right, gotta get that Thanos. All right, so make sure to give me a thumbs up on your way out, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, do your boy a favor, share this in your pop Facebook groups, Instagram groups, and all that stuff. That will spread the word. I'm trying to grow my pop following. You know, I do mostly action figures, but I'm digging into the pops and really loving it. All right, geeks, let me know what you think in the comments. Did you get your hands on this? Are you interested in it now? Did I help you make a decision? I hope I made you go out and buy it right away because this set is awesome. Till next time, Avengers out.